Hello and welcome to another 1967 production. Uh, today I'm going to cover basic bullet seat in depth. Uh, if you need uh, to find out what to seat your bullet in, uh, you're going to need a bit of the equipment as you can see here. There's uh, a the modified case, a bullet head and a push rod. What I usually do first is stick the uh, cleaning rod up the end of the barrel carefully. So uh, if you do get a bullet jammed up in the uh, rifling and the lands, you can just pop it out. Right, here we have the um, Stony Point UAL gauge um, and a 6.5284 modified case. Now this case has got the neck slightly opened up so you can uh, insert a bullet and it will slide through freely with a l with no friction but it's not right loose in the uh, neck. You can buy them or you can get a modified fire case and get it uh, screw cut to fit the UAL gauge. Now that's a 140 grain Amex bullet and that's the bullets these uh, that I like to shoot in these cases. This is the bullet I'll be doing the testing with. Um, you can just see I've shown you how loose the bullet is in there. That brass thing at the back is a little turn screw and that'll once you've got your depth you can lock your the little grey slider inside the UAL gauge lock it off so you can measure it. Now I'm measuring to the U-Drive on the bullet. I'm not measuring the UAL, even though they call it an UAL gauge. I'm measuring to the seat and depth to the U-Drive of the bullet. This little trial fit. And um, you can see I've got a bullet left in the land, so I just push the pull push rod. I've got drop the magazine out. And uh, the bullet should now pop out. Yep. So what you do is you put the bullet back into the UAL gauge. And that's where you s you got a seat and depth in uh, of your bullet. Uh, in your chamber, touching the lands, and here I am, in just inserting the little uh, UAL drive measuring gauge insert into the comparator. Just do it with an Allen key, and then what you'll need is a set of digital dial calipers. You can use the um, analog ones, but I'll use digital because that's a lot easier. Slot, slit, uh, sit them on so they're nice and square and comfy. Turn it on, and make sure you zero it. That's most cru crucial. Zero it once the UAL uh, little comparator is in. Now I get uh, my modified case with the bullet stuck in. Um, you can see I'm measuring it, and that's measuring down to the U drive. Uh, you can see a 2.2, uh, sorry, 2.552. That's to the U drive. Just write it down. Now I'll go through and do it three more times. Uh, that way. Uh, I do it more than once because you may not get it right the first time. If you want to do it five or six times, do it five or six times. But I always seem to do it three, and I've just done it three for the video. It's a little bit quicker, isn't it? And you see the bullet got stuck again. Just push the cleaning rod up inside the barrel, and that'll just touch it on the end of the, and just push the bullet back out through the action. And that should drop, well, in the case of the Seiko, it drops out through the magazine port. And there I am for the second time. You can see um, just this little insert video here that uh, you can where the uh, how the comparator and the um, dial calipers go together just on that little insert bit there. All right, now for the third time. Uh, now you, uh, just on this little insert here, you can see me just a close up of how I actually do it. I push the case in so I feel resistance against the shoulder, and then slowly edge the little grey slider inside the bullet and that will push the bullet up through the neck in t to just touch the rifling. You don't want to go too hard because you'll jam it into the rifle and get a false reading. And then once you've got, just feel it touch the rifling, just turn it off with a lock screw and uh, you've got your overall length. you got your, sorry, you've got your U-drive length. Length to U-drive. And if you, uh, when you come to work and out your loads, if you want to seat your bullet 10th hour off the lands, you just back it up a bit. Or if you want to touch the lands, if you're far from, you'll want the bullet touching the lands to push the head um, back against the bolt face so you can get a good um, snug fit and get a proper seat, um, far from and fit case. Now you see I've got three measurements. Um, what I usually do is uh, add them all together. And uh, divide by three or six or however many times I've done it. I've got to show you the three on here, which I'll do, and that'll give you the 
if you uh, add them all together and divide by three in this case, that will give you the average overall uh, the seat and depth to the U drive, and that's the figure I'll work off. Thank you very much. <coughs> Ah! Uh -huh.